Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to learn first SQL lab program, create a table with the following fields and enter 10 records into the table. Entity name is marks. So here they have given attribute name, type, size and constraints. So by just looking at this table, we will create a database and then we'll create a table. So before we begin with the MySQL, First of all, we need to enter the password. So here password is password only. So I'm going to type password and press enter. Now it is ready to receive the commands from the user. Now let us create a database first. I'll write create database and I'll write the name of the database as student. You can give any valid name here and semicolon press enter. So here we have created a database called student. In this particular database, I have to create a table called marks. So for that, we have to write the command first, use, then student. So we have to enter into this database. Then we have to create a table with all these attribute names and their data type, size and constraints. So here, let us begin with the first thing is we have to create a table. I'll write create table table name is marks inside the round bracket i'm going to write first column name that is first attribute name is roll number i'll write r o l l n o number and integer type of data and whose size should be 5 and then i'll put comma and press enter next is student name i'll write s yes name and the data type they have given here is varchar and the size is 15 put comma and here it should be null so remove that comma and here you can write lowercase letter not and null should be in capital letter put comma and press enter for the next attribute here subject to one we have to take subject to one next integer type of data whose size is three and then we have to check the constraint the marks should be between 0 and 100 so here i'm going to use a constraint called check and inside the round bracket i'm going to write subject to 1 between 0 and 100 the user is restricted to enter the marks between 0 and 100 both inclusive here put comma and press enter similarly we will write subject to data type int and size is 3 again we will write check subject to marks between 0 and 100 close the bracket semicolon next subject 3 integer Check subject 3 between 0 and 100. Similarly, subject 4 int 3 check subject 4 between 0 and Hundred. Close the bracket. Next, subject five int size is three. Check. Here we'll write subject five between zero and hundred. Close the bracket. Comma. And the last subject, subject 6, int, the size is 3, check, subject 6, between 0 and 100. Then close the bracket and one more closing bracket for uh, this particular opening where we have written create table marks then put semicolon enter so here you can observe that we have already created a table next 
uh, here they have given the question first question list all the records so before we uh, insert into we cannot display all the records what we need to do is here we need to uh, insert or populate the table with the data insert into marks values in a round bracket i'm going to write the first attribute value which is a roll number is of type integer so here i'm going to write one then comma the second attribute is yes name and whose data type is var char so whenever we use var char char or date type of data the values should be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark so here yes team is var char type of data hence it should be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark uh, here i am going to write raju in a single quotation mark then i'll put comma and next i have got six subject marks to be entered so i'll randomly enter certain numbers so six numbers i have entered close the bracket put semicolon and press enter here you can observe that we have created one record so similarly i have to insert 10 records at least so here i'm going to use up arrow mark to get the previously executed command and here i'm going to make certain modifications here one more important point to be checked here uh, we have uh, put the constraint on to all the six subject that the marks should be in between 0 and 100 so let us try to insert uh, less than 0 and greater than 100 and we will check out whether that particular constraint is working or not so use up arrow mark and for any of the one subjects i'm going to put minus 1 and i'm going to press enter here you can observe that it is displaying check constraint is violated so here this is working for minus 1 value let us take now here i am going to write for example 101 it should not receive again it should display me the same result here you can see it is not uh, accepting that value because of check constraint so right now we have already entered 10 records into the table called marks so here the first question is list all the records in order to list all the records we have to use select all from marks and put semicolon and hit enter you can observe that we have got all 10 students information over here next to display the description of the table so second question is description you can write either describe or simply you can write desc then table name i'll write here table name as marks and semicolon hit enter here you can observe field name type whether it is null or not primary key is there or not or default values and all those things will be displayed here so this represent it's a schema of the table it's a logical structure or logical description of the table is called schema question number 3 add the new attributes total and percentage to this already existing table in order to add a new column to the existing table we have to use alter table table name table name is marks and here i'm going to use the command called add inside the round bracket i'm going to use the first 
attribute name is total and here for total i am going to take integer and whose size i'll take 3 comma next they have given asked us to take percent i'll write percent and here i'm going to take float type of data because percentage consisting of real number and inside the round bracket i'm going to write 7 comma 2 and then close the bracket and here close one more bracket and put semicolon hit enter so here you can observe that we have already inserted or added two more columns to the existing table in order to check out that use up arrow mark one more time one more time till we get select all from marks and hit enter and here you can observe we have added two more columns called total and percentage whose values are not yet updated next you can observe here calculate total and percentage of marks for all the students so in order to calculate total we have to use update command so here i'm going to write update the table name is marks then i'll write set clause set total is the column that we, uh, we need to update so total is equal to i need to add all the six subject marks so here i'm going to write subject one plus subject two plus subject three plus subject four plus subject five plus subject six and then semicolon hit enter here you can observe all these nine records are updated now once again i have to check whether all these uh, values are updated or not for that use up arrow mark till we get select all from marks and hit enter here you can observe it was null now you can observe we got the total so similarly for percentage also we have to use the update command only so here i'm going to write update marks set percent column so here i'm going to write percent is equal to so percentage can be calculated by total divided by 6 so here i'm going to write total divided by 6 because there are 6 subject so hence we have to divide it by 6 and semicolon hit enter now in order to check whether this particular column is updated or not again use up arrow mark up arrow mark select all from marks hit enter here you can observe the percentage is calculated okay next query is list the students whose percentage of marks is more than 60 so here we have to choose the student name whose marks is greater than 60 percent so i'm going to write here select student name yes name i want to take then i'll take percent from marks table i'll write here the condition what is that condition where percent is greater than or equal to 60 and put semicolon and hit enter so it is going to display the names of students who has got 60 and above 60 percentage of marks so next query is list the students whose percentage is between 60 percent and 85 percent so once again i am going to use the select statement select yes name i want student name next comma percent percent from marks where percent i'll use here between operator between zero sorry between 60 and 85 they have given okay so we'll write here 85 and put semicolon hit enter so it is going to display the students who has got the percentage between 60 and 85 both includes you okay next last question is arrange the students based on percentage of marks from highest to lowest so here i am going to write again select yes name comma percent from marks here i'll use order by clause and in order to 
display the percentage from highest to lowest we have to make it descending order so here order by i'll write percent tesc that lists all the percentage in a descending order so here i'm going to write semicolon and hit enter yes i made a mistake here um, instead of uh, typing yes name i missed out e over here i'll type e and then hit enter here you can see the percentage is listed in a decreasing order i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood if you want to check out this particular program then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video